Hello, this is Marcus from InfoSec Governance. This video today is all going to be about sensitivity labels in Microsoft 365 or Office 365 as you may know it. Okay, what we're going to do is going to walk through it um, and create some labels and publish the labels out and just see how you can actually use them within the Office environment. If you don't know what sensitivity labels are, they are pretty much, I guess, words or definitions that you can apply to documents and things like that within Office. So, for example, if you have confidential information or information that's only privileged within the internal systems of your company, or whether or not they're just public uh, documents, you can actually publish sensitivity labels within the office environment, let's say confidential, uh, internal, and public, or maybe even draft like that, and then you can just push it out. And then within that, you can actually build upon it uh, within the Microsoft 365 environment and actually start encrypting confidential information uh, for documents that say sensitivity label of confidential. You could then encrypt that automatically. You could then um, automatically do various actions on it. You know, you stop sending uh, emails out and about, um, restricting files for various reasons, even potentially even removing files after a certain period of time. So with that, what we're going to do is <clears throat> let's go through this. And uh, first thing we're going to do is go to protection.office.com. And with this as well, it also requires a, a couple of licenses as well with Office. So you'll have to make sure you've got the Azure Identity Protection uh, license. At this time, it it uh, might change it later on, but we'll see. So just, yeah, well, I'll stick some links in at the bottom of this uh, video so you can go through, have a, lead, have a read, see what's required, what is not and go from there. So once you've done uh, logged into um, the protection website. If we go down to classification, go to sensitivity labels, and in here you can actually create a number of labels and then publish them. Here we can see we've got uh, label policies. Once you've created your sensitivity labels, you actually have to create a policy just to tell it how it gets pushed out and how it's um, acted upon. So first things first, we'll just create a label. First things we're going to do here is just create confidential. I could spell confidential. Give it a description for the user. So this could be confidential information only. And you could do the same for the administration administrators as well. So just click next. You have the ability to actually create uh, enable encryption on these ones. For this purpose of this video, I'm not going to do it because it opens up a few kinds of worms. But you could apply encryption and uh, or remove encryption or anything like that. If you want to know more information about it, you can just click on this link here for the encryption settings. And we're just going to hit next. Yeah, you can actually create a content mark. And this is the bit which will actually put the information within the documents. So we just need to tick that. And then you can either add a watermark so it's across your document, stick some text in the header or the footer. So for this example, we're just going to click header, create a customized text, and we're just going to say confidential. Then you can actually change the font size, the font color. I'm just going to say red. And whether or not you want to align that left, center, or right. So just say center and click save. And then click next. Yeah, you can actually put a labeling in. So this here, you can actually put meet conditions and things like that. So you can actually act upon what it's going to do. So for example, if you want um, to automatically label any documents confidential, you can actually assign it to various sensitivity types. So for example, if it, Office 365 detected um, Australian company number in a document, you can tick that, hit add, and it would automatically label your document as a confidential, which is quite good. So we're just going to turn that off for the moment. But uh, device having a look at it, it's uh, quite useful. Click next. Here we just go and review your settings and then create label. Wait a second. And then that's that label done, so you just click done. <clears throat> and then it'll just refresh and show you what labels you've got created. And what we'll do is we'll create another label or two, but what we have to make sure is, it's actually these labels are created in order. So the first one that you do has the highest preference and then goes all the way down. So if you want to change it, you can just click on this and then change high up, up and down. Well, we'll show you that after a second label. So here we're just going to say internal and um, Internal use only. Click next. No encryption. We're going to do content marking. We're going to stick it in the header. Customize the text. 
and say internal use only. I'll leave it as black text this time, go to centered, click save. Next, not going to use auto labeling. And then just create a label. And then just click done. <clears throat> and then we'll just create one more label. This one's just going to be for public. So this we're just going to say public, uh, public information, distribute freely. And hit next. No encryption again. Just click next. Content Martin. I'm just going to say add a header, customize the text. And this is just going to say public and stick this as centered as well. Just click next and next and create a level. And then click done. So as you can see here, we've got the three levels here. So you've got lowest to the highest. If you wanted to move the public up, you can actually say just move level up and go from there. You can actually add sub labels as well. So, for example, if you add, click on confidential, click on add sub label, you can actually give it a sub label. So, for example, if you had various levels of confidential information, you could actually create different labels for that purpose. So, for example, you could have maybe confidential clients, confidential um, staff, confidential X, B, and Z sort of thing. And then you just create those different ones there. It's so whatever works for your business and what you've got within your asset in, um, information classification policies and things like that. So now we've got these done here, we can just click on publish labels. What we do is click here to choose the labels that we want to push. You can either push one or all of them out. So we're just going to select all of them because they're brand new. Click add, click next. And then you just say which users are these going to get pushed out to. By default, it actually says all. But you can actually click here, click add, and then just select the users within your company. You know, so you could either set, select a number of groups, um, or a number of users, or anything like that. Ideally, I would say you'd need to select it as all as it is now, and then just click next. Yeah, you can actually say, do you want to apply your label automatically by default to all documents? So, for example, if all your documents that you create are going to be confidential, you could say confidential or internal, public, things like that, or just leave it as none. And then you can actually select these options here. So users must provide justification for removing the label. So if you automatically set the label as uh, confidential or informational, you could actually check that this box here. And if a user wants to remove that label, they've got to give a justification for it. And then uh, we've got uh, this option here for requires users to apply a label to the email of documents. So again, this one would actually mandate that you actually have to put a classification against it before you do anything. And this one here just creates a link to a custom help page. So for example, if you've got an internal wiki or anything like that for your customers or your internal staff, you could actually link it there just to help them. So we'll just leave all these as default with nothing selected. Click next. Give it a name for your policy. We're just going to call it sensitivity label policy. And if you wanted, you could actually give it a description. We're just going to leave that blank and click next. And then you just need to review everything that you've got here and then click submit. And then click done. Now, one thing you need to do for uh, Windows machines is you have to actually download a Windows client. This client will just help you actually set up all the right information policies and stuff like that between this website here and your computer. It, it helps it integrate with the applications and um, apply the policies and stuff like that. So what we need to do is just head over onto here and go to a website of your choice or a search engine of your choice. We're just going to use Google. And then you need to search for, if I can remember my thing. <clears throat> and then we need to search for uh, is a information oh, invitation. This is the one here. Is a information protection UI. So if you just do a search for this, this will take you to the Microsoft website. I'll stick this in the link uh, below the video. Just click on here, click download, and then. Either if it's going to be a one-off machine or one or two machines, you can actually click on the XE one here. 
if you're going to deploy by a group policy and you've got hundreds of machines or dozens of machines, you can actually download the MSI version here just for easier deployment. Click next. Okay, so once you've downloaded it, um, all you need to do is just run it, and it's just a case of going next, 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 and that's it, all finished. And then once that's all been done, it might take a few minutes or so to deploy, uh, deploy to your machines and stuff like that. But after a few minutes, once people are uh, using the office and things like that, they can just go in and it should be done. So we'll just have a look at this in a second. Okay, so here we are, we've just opened Microsoft Word here. And as you can see, we've got a sensitivity uh, ribbon button here. And with here as well, we've also got this little toolbar here for confidential, info, internal and public. Sometimes this doesn't display automatically. What you might actually get is it just a link when you click on here. And it might just say show bar, it might not show any of these, or sometimes it does, it depends. I've had intermittent issues with it. So if you like, you can click show bar and it'll display this here. If you turn that off, it just goes. So all we need to do is just click confidential and automatically it just goes and adds a confidential there. If you like, you can go to internal, internal use only and public. And that just makes it like a little bit easier, um, especially with various documents, uh, contractual agreements, anything like that. If you have to adhere to ISO compliance or any other type of compliance within the world, you know, this might be of use for you. And you can actually tie this with other various information uh, protection things with uh, Microsoft 365. That will actually going to be pushing out later on in some of the videos. So we'll do some uh, retention uh, labels or retention policies. And we'll do some rights information uh, stuff as well with Azure and Microsoft 365 as well in the coming videos. So I hope this video has been good for you. I hope it makes some sense. Um, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you click the like button. Uh, if you want to subscribe to our channel as well, we're going to be pushing more useful information out, or hopefully it's useful for us. And then, um, yeah, thanks very much.